Welcome back. You've made it this far. Don't stop now. You've met all sorts of interesting things the night, haven't you? Maybe it's time we shed a little light on your situation. Welcome back. Are you enjoying your story? You see, I love a good story. You kids today don't appreciate a good story. I've got one for you. Would you like me to tell it? Let me know. Very well. You'd like to hear a story. No problem. Ready? When I was a boy, there was an empty house just up the hill from my family's. There was a room and a man had committed suicide there after being possessed by the devil. One day a young woman, Lydia, moved into the house with her infant child. That very night, Lydia was awakened by a loud, heinous, hissing sound. She walked to the nursery and there baby's crib was a snake wrapped around a baby's neck, squeezing tighter and tighter. The crib was full of dirt. The baby struggled to free itself from the underneath reaching and clawing, gasping for air. Embalmed the bodies rose from their sarcophagi, for they were mummies. Amongst them was a man, tall, Slim. Almost instinctively, she turned to her husband. Oh, wait, she thought. I don't have a husband. For Lydia and her husband had had an argument. One they couldn't get past. Each night they slept. One inch farther apart. Till one night Lydia left. It was about this time she lost herself in the imaginary worlds. She had quit the book club, the choir, citing something about their high expectations. Her lips slowly grew together from disuse. Every time she wanted to act and didn't, another part of her face hardened until it was stone. That fevered night, she rushed to the nursery, threw open the door. Baby, are you okay? Baby slid up slowly, turned to mother, looked her in the eye, and said, I'm fine, bitch. Just fine. <laughs> Enjoy your story, story goer. I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon. They all come and go as they please. Until next time. <laughs>